Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to start going through this paper, which is paper two um, from the May, June 2020 IGCSE Cambridge. This is paper two, variant two. Now, these papers, um, I go through them. I don't go through every question, like the whole paper at once, like, like a walkthrough. I go through papers, individual uh, questions individually, and normally I go through those questions by request. So eventually as people ask more questions the playlist that i have for the paper fills up and the reason why i don't go through the whole paper in one go is i can also save each question according to its topic which becomes useful for students revising certain topics later on they have a bunch of questions all on the same topic in one playlist so it kind of helps them to focus on those topics if they need to so i'm going to start here with question number one now one of the things i do i don't just I'm not just a talking mark scheme. So I'm going to go through the questions and I'm going to talk about a bit about, you know, some background to them sometimes if, if, if need be, if it's something which I find students need more explanation in. So um, I'm not just going to say, like, just copy the mark scheme and just carry on going through. through. I'm going to try and explain a bit. So some of you might find that my explanations are, you know, maybe some something somewhat basic for some of you, but I'm trying to help students who maybe didn't get proper teaching or, or weren't paying attention at the time when they were being taught and just kind of help them before the exams. Okay, so that's the objective here. So bear with me if, you know, it's a bit, you know, if you if you want to go to a talking mark team, then I'm sure there's other places you could go to find that. Right, anyway, so now I'm going to start with question number one. Now, question number one is about symmetry. Okay, it says write down the order of rotational symmetry of the diagram. Okay, so we're talking about rotational symmetry and the order of rotational symmetry. Now, Something has rotational symmetry that if you can rotate it about, for example, it's center here, if you can rotate it about the center, okay, and it fits over its outline more than one time before it reaches its original position again, before it's gone through one whole revolution. So everything will fit back on its own, on its own outline after one revolution, okay? So... You know, something that you can rotate and it won't fit over its outline until it goes back to the beginning. It has um, no rotational symmetry. And we, we call that order one. When it doesn't have rotational symmetry, it's called order one. Because it's rotated one time and that's when it fit over itself after one revolution only. Okay, one time in a whole revolution. Okay, so for this shape, I mean, in these type of questions, a good idea would be for you to get some tracing paper, which you're allowed to in the exam, as it mentions here. You may use tracing paper. So a lot of the examiners are not really aware of this. Okay, or not the invigilators, not examiners. Sometimes the invigilators in the British Council, whoever, whoever's dealing with your exams, they don't know about this. So um, either you ask your school to provide the tracing paper to the invigilators before the exam, so tell your teachers to talk to the invigilators, or you take your own piece of tracing paper in, but make sure you ask the invigilator before you go in and show him, you know, look, look, we are allowed to use tracing paper. If you don't have it, here's my tracing paper. Look, it's doesn't have anything on it and, and get permission to take it don't just take it in without permission it's very important so now just imagine i've got some tracing paper i've placed it over this shape and then i've traced in i've traced this shape and i've shaded so i've just basically um you know all you need to do really is shade these regions here this part that's shaded and maybe just make a little you know square like that around it and supposing you did that already which i have got something prepared so this is the tracing paper. I'm placing it on top of the, you know, thing. I've, I've traced out the shading and, you know, the general outline. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this around so that it goes through one revolution. So one important thing that you can do is you can make a mark. Oops, let, me, let me make a mark with a, a color. I can make a mark on where I'm starting here. And I'll make the mark on that side as well. So what I'm going to do now quickly is just um I'm going to second that that thing should be separate let me do that first i'm going to just um okay i'm going to group these together so i should have done this before actually but no problem so now i've grouped together this and that this, this line and this thing. Now I'm going to make a mark where I'm starting. Okay, so I know how, how I've gone through. And then when I rotate, 
I'm going to rotate. See, I can see that it doesn't. The, the shading doesn't fit over its original shading. Over here, it's not. It's not fitting because the shading's on these parts here. You see, that's where the shading is. So it's not fitting over. The shading has to fit over the the shading. It can't be that the shape fits over itself, which it does. This square will have a, a order of rotation symmetry four if it was left without any shading. If it was completely unshaded or had the same shading all the way through, it would fit over itself one, two, three, and four times in one revolution. Right, but this because the shading is there, you have to consider the shading as well. The shading has to fit exactly over what's underneath as well. It should be the same. So you can see that when it's going, it still doesn't fit over it. What's the shading underneath? The place where it's, it fits over it when it goes through half a revolution. Here it's exactly fitting over the original shading underneath. So that's one time, and then when you go back to the start again, that's the second time. Okay, so there's altogether two times. So the order of rotational symmetry of this diagram is two, because it's fit over itself two times in one whole revolution. Okay, so that's how you find the order of rotational symmetry. Okay, it's very important that you understand. It's the number of times the object fits over its outline in one complete revolution. All right, so if there was no shading here, all it was all shaded by the same thing. It's, it's exactly uniform inside it. This would have an order of rotation symmetry of four because it fits over itself four times. But because the shading is there, you have to consider that. Very important. Okay, so the order of rotational symmetry is two. So if something has no rotational symmetry, its order of rotational symmetry would be one because it wouldn't fit over itself except through one whole revolution. Okay, I hope that was clear. All right, so that's a rota rotational symmetry. Um, other questions you might want to look at from this paper itself, you'll find in the playlist over here. Again, as I said, if there's a question that you want me to answer that's not there, just send me a request and as soon as I'm able to, I will try to add it to the playlist. Um, other questions to do with symmetry, and I think it's in the same um, you know, category as special quadrilaterals and symmetry. You can find it in the playlist that will be um, put over here. You can um, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link that will show here. And the video over here will show you how to navigate through my channel to find things that you might find useful. Thank you for watching and see you soon.